When you cover a lot of games and create detailed and thorough reviews, there are times where a simple and basic game comes as somewhat a blessing. But basic doesn't have to mean a game is boring or bad. As a matter of fact, in some cases the most enjoyment comes from the simplest of games. And the game we're looking at today is a great example of this. Martian Law is an arcade shooter developed and published by indie developer Linklaw Games. It released on Steam October 18, 2019 for PC and is priced at €3.29. Martian Law may be a small and simple arcade shooter, but offers a well-designed, responsive and fun experience that will keep you playing for far longer than you expect. But it does require a few small improvements to turn it from being a good game to a great one. There is no plot as such to Martian Law, instead it is all about the gameplay. Basically, the concept is that Mars is under attack by an unknown enemy force attempting to bomb the peaceful planet. As one of the Martians, you must attempt to save as many innocent Martians as possible by destroying the incoming bombs and ensuring the innocents get to safety in the underground bunker. At the start of a runner playthrough, there will only be a few small bombs being dropped onto the planet. But the longer you last, the more plentiful the bombs become, along with new, more powerful and durable bombs beginning to fall, eventually the screen becoming almost full of them. The goal of the game is to destroy as many of the bombs as possible, allowing for the small Martians to move from either side of the screen to the underground bunker in the centre of the map. Unlike with most arcade shooters, you don't gain points for blowing up bombs, but instead you gain a point for every Martian you save. You need to obtain as many points as possible without dying. The objective and the general idea of Martian Law is simple, but an enjoyable one, that revolves around more than just defeating as many enemies as possible. There is a certain level of strategy to the gameplay where you need to focus both on the Martians that are attempting to get to safety, along with destroying the bombs making sure they don't kill them in the process. The idea works and the twist and the workings make it quite a unique unique game that is actually a lot of fun. There are a total of three different levels to choose from. At the start of the game you will only have one available to you with others unlocking by saving a specific number of Martians in a single playthrough. The additional levels don't change your objective in any way but the changes to the map design result in your need to change your strategy and how you deal with the bombs and save your Martian friends. They don't make massive changes to the game but they certainly add to the replayability adding a breath of fresh air when the first level has worn out its welcome. And the points required to unlock each are quite fair so they aren't too difficult to unlock making them quite accessible to anyone of any skill level. There is a total of four different bombs to deal with in Martian Law. The first is the basic bomb that is destroyed with one hit and only has a very small blast radius. The second is what I call the shark bomb which is a medium bomb that takes a few hits to blow up and has a medium blast radius. The third is the huge bomb that takes a lot of hits to destroy and has a blast radius that fills a large percentage of the screen. The fourth is a robotic bomb that upon reaching the middle of the screen fires a constant laser beam to the ground killing any Martians that happen to walk into it. The robot will continue to do this for a little while before self destructing causing a medium sized explosion or you can destroy it beforehand. The longer you last in a place where the more plentiful the number of bombs become and the more frequent the more powerful ones begin to spawn in. The variety of bombs is decent adding depth and additional strategy to the game as you will need to pick your targets especially as more powerful ones begin to appear. The one issue I would have with the bombs is that I would have liked to see maybe one or two more unique variations. The first three are quite basic and don't offer anything unique to them other than they are bigger and more destructive than the last. But the fourth one is genuinely unique in its behaviour and to have a few more like it would be fantastic and really add to the overall depth strategy and variation of the game without it losing its simplicity. There are also power ups that are sometimes dropped by destroying the bombs. The chance of them dropping appears to be completely randomly generated. There are three power ups in total. The first is the nuke which upon picking it up destroys all the bombs that are currently on screen. The second is a shield that temporarily makes you invincible along with destroying any bombs that you touch off of while active. The third is the split shot where instead of firing one line of projectiles, your little Martian defender will fire three lines of projectiles for a temporary period of time. The power-ups are a nice addition to the game that grants an additional bit of excitement, along with variation to the playthrough thanks to the random chance of them spawning. They each have their own specific use and can be very useful when things start to get tight. There are two issues with the power-ups however. The first is like with the enemies, it would be nice to have one or two more just to give a bit more variation. With the current three, it doesn't take long before their novelty wears off. That is but a minor issue though. The second problem lays with the fact that they are randomly generated. With the way that the RNG is programmed, the chances of the power ups dropping is very low in comparison to the number of bombs you need to deal with, especially as the run progresses. There are times where I got three or four power ups in a run, while more often than not I was lucky if I got two in a run that lasted around the same amount of time. This results in attempting to get over 500 
points extremely difficult and is likely the reason why nobody has yet obtained the 1000 points achievement. Without regular power ups it's nearly impossible to keep the bombs from killing the Martians as the screen just becomes completely full of them. Your focus is turned to your survival as opposed to keeping your Martian friends alive and the increase in points due to this is painfully slow. I would say that this is the game's biggest flaw. A much better method of introducing power ups into the game would be to have a special enemy or special neutral ship or something along those lines that spawn into the map on a set timer, say every minute and a half or two minutes and if the player can destroy it then the power up will drop. Having such a mechanic would get rid of the element of randomness with the power ups while introducing an added layer of depth to the player's skill of targeting in the game. It would make the late stage of the playthrough much more skill based, exciting and most of all a lot fairer. And if the few extra power ups could be thrown in for good measure then all the better. And that is about it, there isn't really anything more to say about the game. And that is completely fine. It's a game that is extremely simple and the developer openly clarified that. It is a fun little arcade shooter that does exactly what the developer has said it does. The time I spent with the game was very enjoyable despite its simplicity. The art design and general concept are charming. The game is well designed and made and the gameplay quite addictive to the point where you find yourself coming back again and again for at least a few hours in total. There are certainly improvements to be made. As previously mentioned a few more unique enemies along with the addition of a few extra power ups would certainly bring the game to the next level. And if some changes could be made to the late stage of a playthrough and with how the dropping of power ups work I reckon Martian Law would be genuinely a great game. With that said I'm not saying it's a bad game, in fact it is quite good, but it isn't at the point where I could call it more than that. It needs those few improvements first. But if you're looking for a good and generally fun little arcade shooter for its price, its gameplay is well worth giving a go. The atmosphere to Martian Law is a very light hearted and cheerful one that matches in very well with the colourful cartoony art style and design of the enemy bombs. This is only further intensified by the fast paced deep beat soundtrack that accompanies it that only adds to the playfulness, general silliness and the light heartedness of the game. It truly makes you feel like you're playing a retro inspired arcade shooter and no matter how long you play that sense of nostalgia remains with you. Martian Law is a charming little game with a ton of personality despite its simple design. It is fun and quite addictive and has all the elements that make for a good and basic arcade shooter. Its controls are responsive, though controllers are definitely recommended. It has power ups and more enemies to blow up than you'll ever want, all the while having its own little twist with its scoring system. Sure, it could do with a number of improvements, and it does have one major flaw that is with the general balance with the later stage of a playthrough and the dropping of power ups, but other than that it is a game that does exactly what it says it does and for its price of €3.29 it is worth giving a go for any arcade shooter fan. And with that I give Martian Law a 7 out of 10. Not all video games have to be complex or contain a large number of features or mechanics to be enjoyable. Games that are simple and just made for fun can be just as entertaining as any other. And Martian Law is a perfect example of that. It is a game that was made with nothing more than fun in mind and that is what video games have always been about.